What's up guys? Before we look at rule of 72, let's revisit the compound interest formula. Interpreting the formula, if principal P is compounded annually, at the rate, I, for time period T, then the final amount is P times 1 plus I by 100, whole power of T. Rule of 72 is an approximation of above formula. It states, the time taken for principal to double at the rate I, is approximately equal to 72 by I. Here, condition is that I should be small, ideally less than 25%. Take this example, if the price of house appreciates by 8% every year, then time taken to double the price is given by 72 by I. Fitting the values, we get time equals 9 years. It is an approximate value, as seen in the verification here. Now, let's look at the derivation of rule of 72. If the final amount doubles, that means A, becomes 2P. Put it in the equation of compound interest. Cancel P on both sides. Now take natural log of both sides. Equation becomes, ln2 equals, t times ln1 plus i by 100. The t in the power comes down, using this basic log formula. Now use the expansion formula of the log. Here, if the value of x is small, then x squared will be smaller and x cubed much smaller and so on. So we can ignore the further terms and take only x. So ln1 plus x can be replaced by just x. Here, our x is i by 100. So equation becomes, ln2 equals t times i by 100. Solving the equation and putting ln2 equals 0 0.693. We get, t equals 69.3 by i. Since 72 has lot more factors compared to 69.3 or 70. We use 72 instead. Also, 72 compensates for the approximation we did, by ignoring the squared terms, which otherwise would have decreased the denominator. We have to compensate by increasing the numerator to 72 instead of 69.3. In the next video, we will see how to leverage the rule of 72 to calculate the time period when the principal has tripled or has increased by any power of 2. Thanks for watching.